Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. This video today means so much to me and probably has to be one of my favorite videos I've ever made. This time of year is so exciting because of all the holiday treats and everything to celebrate. It is also the love of my life's birthday. If you didn't know, I have my own dog and she's turning three this week. She's finally out of her terrible twos. So I decided to make her an edible dessert. Last year I made her some pup cakes and I posted that onto my channel, so I will link that down below if you want to see my pup cakes because this is a little bit of a different recipe. And this year I decided to do a cake! I'm so excited, I think she's gonna love it. If it was up to her, she would be eating the whole entire thing in five seconds. So this is what Aspen's cake looks like. I love the way that it turned out. I of course had to line it with some bones because duh. And then I found this cute little topper at Target and it just made the cake. I love the way that this came out. If you recreate this, you have to show me. Your dog is absolutely going to love it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to learn how to make this peanut butter pumpkin dog edible cake, then please keep watching. So first up, this feels so weird to do, but I am just mixing together two and a half cups of water with one cup of pumpkin. I promise it's so weird, but it, it works. And then I'm just adding in one egg to that along with a half a cup of chunky peanut butter and try and make this organic if possible. And then I'm just going to mix together with my stand mixer all of my wet ingredients on medium speed until combined. And as you can see here, it's such a liquid mixture. I did put some paper towels around it just so that it wasn't going flying everywhere and this works perfectly. It's a great little hack. Then I'm just going to mix in my dry ingredients. So I'm adding in three and a half cups of whole wheat flour. It has to be whole wheat flour because it's regular flour is just not good for your pup. So make sure that is whole wheat flour and you can find this pretty much anywhere. And I'm just going to mix that together. Then I'm just going to mix in a half a cup of oats, one tablespoon of baking powder, lastly a half teaspoon of cinnamon. And you're just going to want to mix that all together until completely combined. Then I'm just lining the bottom of my baking pan with some parchment paper and I'm going to pop that into the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And just like any other cake, you just want to bake that until a toothpick comes out clean. So now for the world's easiest icing, with one ingredient, I'm just adding three blocks of cream cheese to my stand mixer and beating that until it is light and fluffy. And now we can go ahead and assemble our cake. So I'm just cutting each of the cakes that I made because it did make two cakes. I'm going to be cutting the edges around those just to make sure that the edges that are rough are not on our cake and then I'm just going to be cutting each of my cakes in half. Once I've cut that in half I'm going to put my first layer down on to my cake stand and you just want to make sure that your cake is flat so that you aren't having a lopsided cake this whole entire time you didn't even know it so make sure that you cut the insides to be a completely flat line and then I'm just going to be piping on some of my cream cheese icing to this and you want to make sure it's pretty thick because I wanted a high cake um, you can do whatever you want but I wanted mine to be a little bit higher just for a cute birthday effect and I'm just going to be using my offset spatula and mixing that all around so that it's all even and then I can add on my next layer. You want to press that down like I said before so that it is not a lopsided cake. You want to make sure it's completely flat and then you can just go ahead and repeat the exact same steps until you are out of cake. Once I've iced in between all of my layers, I'm going to go ahead and ice the sides of my cake. So you can just add some more icing to the outside and start using your spatula to just disperse it everywhere. My first layer is going to be my crumb coat, so it does not have to be perfect. You just want to make sure all of the cake is covered and then you're going to pop that into the fridge to let it sit. And this just helps the crumbs stick to the cake instead of seeing your crumbs through your cake. So once it's out of the fridge, we're going to take it back out and completely ice it again. So you just want to put that into the fridge for about 15 to 30 minutes. 
Once our crumb coat has chilled, you're gonna take that back out, like I said, and put some more of that cream cheese icing onto the cake. I'm just putting it sloppy because I am going to end up making it look pretty. So you can just go ahead and frost your cake however you like. The sides do not have to be perfect because you are gonna be covering it with some of the bones, but I did try my best to make the top as smooth as possible. Once you have iced your cake, you can go ahead and put your bones onto the side. And like I said, the sides don't have to be perfectly iced. As you can see here, mine are not, but they're going to be completely covered by bones. So it does not matter. You just want to place a bone right side by side with each other and put that all around the cake. And that is pretty much it. And then my finishing topper, which is completely optional, but I had to do this because I'm an over-the-top dog mom. I found this little cute banner in the party section at Target, and I'm just adding that to the top. It says happy birthday. I think this is adorable, but it's completely optional. And that is all there is to this dog edible cake. And that's all there is to this dog edible birthday cake. I love the way that this came out. I think your dog is going to freak out when he or she sees this. You guys have to make this if you have a little pup on your own. It doesn't have to be their birthday. It can be anything. Just make it because you love them. Again, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. And also all the ingredients will be in my description box down below. And as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I respond very quickly. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys are having a great holiday season and I hope to see you guys in the next video.